Since the beginning of Fortnite, aim assist has been pretty problematic. From overpowered L2 spam to punishing pump shots, aim assist truly does give controller players an advantage, but is this advantage strong enough to outweigh the cons to playing with two analog sticks? Let's find out. Welcome back guys to another Pro Guides video. My name is Christoph and today we'll be doing another crazy topic for you all. In this video, we'll be discussing the topic that everyone loves to talk about, aim assist. Is it overpowered? Is it balanced? In this video, we'll dive into some of the most recent controversy surrounding this topic. And for today's question of the day, I wanna know, do you think that aim assist should be nerfed? I'll let you guys know my opinion later on in the video, but before we get started, if you guys want to get better at Fortnite, then go to proguides.com, use the description link below. Go find your pro coach right now and start winning more games. All right, let's get right into the video. So as you know, we're always looking to bring you guys the best content around. So we came across this Reddit post from user a Reddit account 134, where he explained this, why he thinks aim assist is OP. One main point that stood out was that when he said, if you choose to play on an inferior device, you should just deal with the fact that your play will be inferior. And honestly, to an extent, I agree. Most of us have access to a keyboard and mouse. So why should people receive an advantage simply for playing on a weaker device? He goes on to say this, aiming with sticks is hard, but you choose to aim with sticks. You shouldn't have software assisting you because you choose the inferior device. Even worse, this software makes it where a new controller can out aim some of the best PC players in the world. And guys, as someone who plays a lot on controller, I honestly have to agree with this statement as well. But there's also the argument that aim assist is just, well, necessary. And with this, I also have to agree. Let's be real here. On a controller, you have your thumb and a tiny stick to aim with. It's a really bad disadvantage. If you play on controller, try doing some 1v1s without aim assist, it's pretty much unplayable. And with controller being such a major input device, there has to be some way to account for this. And that's why game developers often introduced aim assist. The issue, in my opinion, isn't the fact that there's aim assist, but how overpowered it is right now. If you watch a player like Wavy Jacob or Unknown, you'll see that pretty much every time they start a fight, they get over 100 damage for free. Aim assist is needed, but if it gets to the point where a controller player with little to no aim practice can out-aim a mouse and keyboard player who has hundreds of hours in Kovacs, then my friends, we have an issue. The essence is, there has to be a balance here. Aim assist should exist, and it's absolutely crucial on controller, no doubt, but if it begins to be comparable to a literal aimbot, we do have an issue. So there has to be a middle ground, and I think there are a few good ideas circulating around. In one Reddit post by a user named Yenterhooks, he outlines a pretty good idea to end L2 spam, which is the main form of aim assist that players abuse. He says, Give all guns an ADS cooldown, either in the form of an increased un-ADSing time or a bloom penalty when re-ADSing too quickly. That roughly matches the fire rate, but is specific to each gun's playstyle. That would solve abusing L2 to track better. What he's saying is to essentially add a cooldown so you can't zoom in and out quite as fast, locking onto your opponent's head like you can currently on controller. Another idea that some players have brought up is just remove legacy altogether. Exponential and linear still exist, and while they're still pretty powerful and could use some small nerfs, it'd still be much better than having legacy in game. One more thing we found interesting is a post by BXR Rekt on Reddit, where he tested his mouse and keyboard aim with 100 plus hours on Kovacs and compared it to controller aim with literally zero practice on it. And to keep it short, controller won by an insane amount. We won't go too in depth on it in here, but if you wanna check out the post, it'll be linked down in the description. Whatever might end up changing with aim assist, we all know something needs to happen. I mean, listen to what Ninja says about it here. I am 100% if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, dude, dude, get as to ha take it all. Take all the aim assist, have as much as you want. You, you have to deal with 60 FPS, I feel bad for you. Anyone with a brain can go on Twitter and follow some of the professional players who are now switching from mouse and keyboard to a controller on the, the PC and the clips that they're tweeting. It's disgusting. It makes you want to vomit. And don't forget the clip from 72 hours that sums it up very nicely here as well. Will you? Ooh. 
That's more like it, baby. Good stuff, good stuff. Whether you love or hate aim assist, you've got to admit that clip was pretty funny. But overall, guys, the final verdict is that aim assist is necessary. We all know that. But in its current state in Fortnite, it needs to be changed. Whether that's by a removal of L2 spam, ADS delay, possibly a removal from competitive, or anything else, something needs to happen soon. If you guys agree or disagree, let us know in the comments below. We're really interested to hear you guys' thoughts. Let's keep this conversation going because Epic needs to do something about it. If you guys enjoyed our content, we'd really appreciate it if you left a like or consider subscribing to see more content like this. And if you guys want to get better at Fortnite, go find your pro coach right now on ProGuides.com. Use the description link below. That's it for me, guys. Once again, my name is Christoph. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.